Okay, so we've seen how Lorentz transformations are going to introduce the effect of time dilation. Let's now see another time-related effect, which is the relativity of simultaneity. Now, good luck to me trying to spell that. So, what do I mean by simultaneity? Well, the property of being simultaneous means happening at the same time. And so, what we're going to see now is that the notion of two events happening at the same time is now going to become an observer-dependent quantity. It's going to depend on the reference frame you're using. And so different observers are going to potentially disagree on whether or not two events happened at the same time, or even in which the order in which they occurred. We're going to see that by potentially travelling fast enough, you can actually reverse the order in which you're going to see events happening. And this is all captured by the Lorentz transformations, as we're now going to see. Okay, so this is going to be a fairly geometric discussion, because a lot of these results we can really just clearly see geometrically. And so I'm going to be working quite heavily with our Minkowski picture. And now for simplicity and to make things a bit larger, I'm just going to stick with drawing this positive quadrant. We're not going to need to worry about the rest, and it's all going to be fairly similar. So I'm just going to draw now our first reference frame, which I'm going to call A. This would represent our stationary observer sitting at this origin. And now I'm going to introduce a boosted observer, which you remember has these now scissored axes. So I'm going to say we have the observer A, and then the observer B, which is going to be a boosted observer. So I'm going to give it color-coded coordinates again. CT hat and X hat. So big origin to cover my mistakes there. Okay, so hopefully you're familiar with what I've drawn here, these now boosted axes. So the orthogonal axes correspond to our stationary observer, and then these slightly non-perpendicular axes are our boosted observer. And so now we're simply going to be able to discuss simultaneity on this figure purely geometrically. So how would I now visually represent the notion of simultaneity? Well, simultaneity means events happening at the same time. And so let me just draw for you now events which are going to be simultaneous in our A frame. I should have labelled this as the B frame. But now, this following thing which I'm going to draw is going to correspond to all of the events everywhere in space-time that happened at the same time, i.e. all the events that occur with the same time coordinate, which in the A-frame is just going to be a horizontal line. Because if you remember, we said that lines parallel with the x-axis are actually lines on which t is constant, and so this value here, t c, is going to be some constant. Maybe I'll call it t naught. So this yellow line represents all of the locations in space-time that are all specifying an event that occurred at this time t naught. And so anywhere on this line you can always know we're talking about the time t naught in the A-frame. But now, how is this going to change in the B-frame? Well, first of all, we know that in the B-frame these axes are no longer orthogonal. And so what we have to realise is that a line which is specifying a line of constant t hat is now going to be a line which is parallel to our x-axis. And so if I now draw the lines of constant t hat, they're going to look, say, something like this, where this purple line is now parallel with our x hat axis. 
So now we can already really clearly see the relativity of simultaneity in action. If we look at this purple line, this is the line of all the events which happened at the same time in the B frame. Well, in the A frame, these events are happening at different times. This event at this location is happening at this time, but this event, which from the B frame, they say is happening at the same time, it might be happening at some different location, that's to be expected. But now, from the perspective of A, this is no longer happening at the same time as the event down here. There's clearly two different times in the A frame. And similarly, from the perspective of B, all of these yellow line, all of the events on this yellow line are also happening at different times because, well, a line of constant time is not horizontal, but it's now parallel with our x hat axis. And so this is really clearly now showing the relativity of simultaneity. This boosted observer, or rather from the perspective of the stationary observer, events that were simultaneous in the boosted frame are appearing to be happening at different times. So this is just a fairly simple and quick visual representation or visual understanding for how the relativity of simultaneity arises. And I think it's quite nice and intuitive. Simply just looking at these two diagrams, we can already read off a really fundamental and quite controversial physical effect. So really just to summarise this fairly quick video, just simply showing how we can really easily read off the relativity of simultaneity from a figure like this. I'm just really showing you the power and utility of these Lorentz boost figures. And we're going to see more in the next video how we can use a similar figure to derive uh, length contraction also very nicely geometrically.